add one prayer to it. We will shout better than the person beside us. Powers. Powers. Assigned to abort good things in my life. See one, I to show you what they didn't want me. Powers. I want better. Assigned to abort good things in my life. See what I to show you what they didn't want me. Hear the word of the Lord. Da. 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 In the name of Jesus. Who know you call Jesus? Any power anywhere. Agbara, you would be kibi. Assigned to about good things in See what I to share you already know I hear me. Hear the word of the Lord. Bara Lord. Die, 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 die. Go, 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 go. Say it. I want Agbara. Hey, you see what I to share you already know I hear me. Powers assigned to avoid good things in my life. We are the word of the Lord. Die, 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 die. In the name of Jesus. Say it. Shout it. Better than anyone. You work with your law. I want to share your name. Who <laughs> Help yourself. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Father, we bless you for this moment. We adore thee because you are the one that lives forever. We glorify your holy name because you are the I am that I am. You are the mighty man in battle. All things you know. There is nothing impossible for you. Father, we bless you over everyone. We bless you over every home. We bless you over every family. We bless you over our children. Those that are near and far. Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. We bless you for protection and provision. We thank you for reigning grace. We bless you for mercy and favor. We bless you for victory in battle. We thank you because you are the one in charge of our situation. We thank you for winning our war. We thank you for defeating our defeat. Father, we thank you for daily blessing. Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for protection. We bless you for safety. Over everyone here today. We thank you for life. Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are going into your world. Release upon our life salvation. Signs and wonders. At the end of it all, give us grace to make heaven. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Shall we be seated? We are still in this series. It's just a series. And we are going through 14 Sundays. Sunday, 14 Sundays. Sunday, Merila. The cry of the saint. There is a particular thing that is affecting everybody in life. There is a particular thing that always attacks us. This thing that always attacks us. It does not know anyone. 
He does not know whether you are a pastor. He doesn't know whether you are a prophet. He doesn't know whether you are a male or female. He doesn't know whether you are a teacher or intercessor. He doesn't know whom you are. It defeats everyone every day. Everyone is being affected every day. There is no one that is exempted. This morning we are looking at what I tied you. The guestiman captivity. Guestiman captivity. It's a terrible thing, beloved. Let us go to the book of Matthew. The book of Matthew, chapter 26. Matthew, chapter 26. The book of Matthew. We are Matthew. We are Matthew. Chapter twenty-six. Only carry Genie Ogbo. Matthew twenty-six. We are Matthew. Only carry Genie Ogbo. Once you are there, just tell, say yes. Say about today, be so pay Ben. Matthew twenty-six. We are Matthew. Only carry Genie Ogbo. Verse thirty-six. Yes, carry Genie Ogochi. Matthew twenty-six thirty-six. Matthew Ori Kani Jini Ogbo S E Kani Jini Ogochi We are reading through verse 56 Shall we read it together? Then comment Jesus with them unto a place called Gestiman and said unto the disciple sit ye here why I go and pray yonder and he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be sorrowful and heavy then said he unto them my soul is exceeding sorrowful even unto death, tarry ye here and wash with me. And he went a little farther, farther and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh my father, if thee be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. And a comment unto the disciples and find them as and said unto Peter, What could ye not wash with me one hour? Wash and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went away again the second time and pray, saying, Oh my father, if this cup may not pass away from me except I drink it, there will be done. Verse 43. And he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy, and he left them and went away again and prayed the third time, saying the same word. Then comment he to his disciple and said unto them, Sleep on now and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hand of sinners. Rise, let us be going. Behold, he is at hand that both betray, both betray me. And why he yet spake, Lo, Judas, one of the twelve came, and with him a great multitude with sword and staff from the chief priest and elders of the people. Verse 48. Now he that betrayed him gave them a sign, saying, Whomsoever I shall kiss, that same is he. Hold him fast and fought with verse 49 and fought with it came to Jesus and said 
Hail master and kiss him Verse 50 now And Jesus said unto him Friend Wherefore art thou come Then came they And lay hands on Jesus And took him Verse 51 now And behold one of them Which was with Jesus Stretched out his hand And drew his sword And struck a servant of the high priest And smote off his ear then said unto Jesus, Then said Jesus unto him, Put up again thy sword, And into his place. For all they that take this sword, Shall perish with this sword. Verse 53, Thinkest thou that, I can now pray to my father, And he shall presently give me, more than twelve legions of angels but how then shall the scripture be fulfilled that thus it yes. must be in verse 55 now in that same hour said jesus to the multitude and ye come out as against a thief with sword and staff for to make me i suddenly I sat daily with your teaching in temple and ye lay no hold on me. Verse 56 now. But all this was done that the scripture of the prophet might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples forsook him and fled. All the disciples they forsook him and they fled they ran away from their master they ran away from the arabi they ran away from their teacher they ran away from their leader they ran away from the person teaching them they ran away from that person that has been taking care of them they ran away from that person they rely on they were unable to intercede from for him but when there was trouble the Bible said they ran away they left him alone to face the consequence they left him alone to pass through what has been written of him this morning we are looking at a team Gestiman captivity it's a serious thing beloved what is captivity in Hebrew language in Hebrew language captivity is being called shabby oh. in Hebrew language it is called shabby s-h-a-i-b-y S H A I B Y. It is called shabby. What is captivity? It means to be in prison. A state of hardship. Someone under unkind oppression. Unexpected prison to be in a state of being uncomfortable when one is judged to a corner of no advocator what is captivity a state of being a slave under authorized master what is captivity for one to be crippled for progress to be crippled or a crippled progress what is 
captivity a crippled glory a state of being in sorrow and frustration whereby you don't have control and you don't have power to stop what is done to you what is captivity something reducing your speed something that is reducing your speed what is captivity to be in shame for one to be shamed down what is captivity it means limitation for one to be limited to a particular place what is captivity it means every load every load every weight being placed on you that thing that can reduce your speed when one is limited to a circle when one is limited to a place what is captivity to be tied down to be tied down what is captivity the hindering force the hindering force that does not allow one to move forward what is captivity below that evil force evil force preventing you to move ahead what is captivity falling to the ground without anyone to lift him up what is captivity below it means total bondage captivity captivity in a deep world need to be addressed it's a serious thing beloved it does not exempt anyone one way or the other whether you like it or not in life you've been captivated they've disturbed you before they've prevented you before they don't allow you to get to where you wish to get to but hear the word of the Lord from my mouth this whosoever that stopped you yesterday today they shall be wasted today you will move forward today you will make progress today you will be successful today you shall be approved today you shall be accepted today you will enjoy today heaven will announce your liberty today you will enjoy freedom today you will enjoy mercy today you will enjoy grace today you will enjoy victory today you shall be favored today you will have rest of mind today you will have peace of mind today you shall be clothed today your nakedness shall be no more today your head will not be cut off today you will not be eat to ground today you will never experience desolation today you will not be empty today you will never suffer setback today you will move forward you will move forward you are untouchable in the name of Jesus today you will not be in prison in the name of Jesus your life shall be meaningful your life will profit you in the name of Jesus captivity need to be addressed need to be addressed if you allow it it will work stronger I don't know 
where you've been captivated I declare this morning heaven will set you free wherever your children have been captivated before you say the last amen our children shall be set free is it your labor is it your labor that not a lot of is it your labor oh my god if it is your labor that has been captivated before you say the last amen you shall be set free you are working hard it's not enough for you to feed on it I decree and declare there's one power called the power of surplusity there is one authority called the power of surplus I decree by the decree of heaven authority of surplus authority of plenty shall locate you today in the name of Jesus grace 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 of enlargement in the cost of your life shall manifest. What are we saying here today? We have different categories of captivity. We have different kinds of captivity. Number one, we have a forceful captivity like Jesus Christ he was forced into that captivity he said to the arresters he said the person that he kills and it's okay act oh my god he said whosoever that he kills act fast act fast and arrest him it was a forceful captivity when you've been arrested out of your will when you've been arrested out of God intention I decree and declare I don't know those that I'm talking to but I know that certain set of people are hearing me this morning. every forceful captivity ever established on any life here today by the authority that created heaven and you shall be released by fire you shall be released by fire in the name of Jesus there is personal captivity the captivity that you let yourself into it nobody asks you to go you are the one that led yourself personal captivity is a serious captivity that at times you don't know that you've introduced captivity into your life I decree by the decree of heaven any captivity you enter into through ignorance any captivity you enter into by self intention by self decision by self Self wish and self will. Heaven will release you today in the name of Jesus. Self personal captivity is a serious thing. Telling God 
that is not God nagging after prayers gossiping telling lies secret and open sin malice hatred they are personal captivity unless you change unless there is a change of art you must make conscious effort to change yourself to release yourself from personal captivity that you introduce into your own life. I declare once again every personal captivity that is making you to suffer setback heaven will release you from it today in the name of Jesus. Now there is inherited captivity. Inherited captivity. That thing that can be traced to your parents. That thing that can be traced to your generation. What you inherited from your father. The one you inherited for, from your mother. The one you inherited from your generation. Inherited captivity is a serious captivity that does not submit easily I decree by the decree of heaven is there any trace of inherited captivity upon any one of us I decree and declare here receive freedom in the name of Jesus receive freedom in the name of Jesus receive freedom in the name of Jesus we have transfer captivity transfer captivity the one that is being transferred to you the one you accepted from someone the one one received through cause the one one acquire through character and behavior as the man of God as the man of God cause that son in the school of prophet that the leprous the leprosy the leprosy will come upon you Amen. leprosy to Gehazi I decree and declare have you ever have you ever receive curse from the anointing that is higher than you have you ever receive a transfer a transfer captivity that head on to your life you've been praying in order for this transfer captivity to release you and you are unable to do that I stand here this day by the grace of God upon this ministry I stand this day by the grace of God upon my father Dr. D.K. Olukoya I stand this day by the grace upon the forefather in the work of the ministry I stand this day by the grace of God upon my life I decree and declare by the grace of God let every transfer captivity release you by fire be released be released by fire be released by grace be released be released be released be released be released be released in the name of Jesus. Another captivity. The external captivity. 
the external captivity the captivity that are not from inside the external captivity those that you don't know at all you never met with them they never met with you but your assistance they ate it they ate your progress they ate your success they ate what you are doing for living they are saying in secret are you the only person you've never had anything in common with them external captivity they see you shining but they they hate your shining. They hate your progress. They hate your success. They hate what you are doing. External captivity. It is called the unknown enemies. They only see you to and fro. But they hate your going out. They hate your coming in. I decree by the decree of heaven. Every force of external captivity upon your life shall be destroyed. Disgrace. I don't see one. Shall be disgrace. I don't see one. They will not have control over your life. They will not have control over your children. They will not have control over your labor. They will not have control over your work. They will not have control over the grace of God upon you. In the name of Jesus. External captivity is serious. It is unknown soldier. They are unknown soldiers. They are unfriendly friends. They are unknown enemies. I decree and declare. At the mention of your name. In any gathering of the weekend. There shall be disgrace. There shall be disgrace. I told you to want me. There shall be disgrace. Uh, yes. Wherever your name has been mentioned for evil. Jesus said. Yes. He said he has authority over legions of angels. If he call upon them. So they will come over to save him. I stand here this day. By the grace of God Almighty. I call upon the legions of angels to come and fight for us in the name of Jesus. Let legions of angels come to fight for us. 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 In the name of Jesus. The sixth captivity is internal captivity. Internal captivity is what a lot of us are struggling with. All the groups, all the groups, all the groups, all the groups where you belong to it is not everyone that are there with you love you even in Christian it is not all the ministers that were pleased with you they can tell you we bless the Lord with you. We glorify the Lord with you. We accept the Lord in your life. But they are not pleased with the grace of God upon your life. Don't be carried away. Internal captivity is what everyone struggles with every day. It is not everyone that accepted you. It is not everyone that approved you. There is something they hate in you. At times you pray. They reverse the prayer. At times you ask. They reject the asking. Oh, internal captivity. 
is a serious captivity that everyone struggles with spiritually. Listen to me carefully. The day, the day Joseph said to his father the dream he had. The father of Joseph accepted it. That it was a right dream. It was a prophecy. It was a revelation. This is a vision. Concerning the life of Joseph. He had it. He accepted it. But he never believed it. He said. Jacob said within his heart. Will I bow for you? That is internal captivity. Joseph, Joseph had been in prison in the heart of Jacob before Jacob went into prison. Oh, I decree and declare every internal captivity that kept you in one place every internal captivity that imprisoned the prophet and harvest of our life by the grace of God Almighty this day we shall be released we shall be released in the name of Jesus the seventh captivity is called acquired captivity. The captivity we acquire from friends, from brethren, from unknown people. The captivity we acquire from the village or town that we visited from the border we pass through listen to me carefully there is no journey that is empty in life there is no place you ever visited that they will look at you they will say within the powers controlling that environment let us bless this life with this you will visit a place and when you get home you will be having strange dreams you will be asking yourself how come about this dream it was as a result of where you visited it was as a result of where you went to it is called acquired captivity do you know at times if you do don't go back to that place and give it back to that city. The captivity may not have the capacity to trace back his journey to that village. That is why everybody in life, before you enter into a city, before you enter into any town, before you enter into any home, cultivate the habit of soaking yourself into the blood of Jesus. Let the power of this environment exempt me. I will not be partaker of their dream. I will not be partaker of their dealings. I will not be partaker of their problems. Acquire captivity. I decree by the decree of heaven. Every acquire captivity by the authority that created heaven. God Almighty shall separate every acquire captivity from you. In the name of Jesus, be separated. Be separated. Be separated from acquire captivity. In the name of Jesus. Another captivity is voluntary captivity. Voluntary captivity. They give it to you. You are set it. This is where it is delicate. This is where it is serious. This is where it is terrible. It is not all prophet 
you are allowed to place hand upon your head voluntary captivity is a terrible captivity it is not all what they say to you you accept it doesn't mean it doesn't mean it's still the same Jesus. It's still the same Jesus. Is this the same? It's still the same way. Voluntary captivity, it is seriously serious. Oh, I could identify someone in my spirit here. You've been in, 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 in a church. You met with someone that said to you, Show me your palm. And he began to read what was written in your palm. And you too, you are saying, Yes, 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 yes. yes, 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 yes. The trouble you are having. The Lord of the prophet asked me to tell you. Since you visited the man. And what is written in the palm of your life. Had been read out. That was the source of your problem. The Lord asked me to say this to your life. What they've taken from you. That thing they seize from you by the grace of God, receive it back. Receive it back. Receive it back. Receive it back. In the name of Jesus. Voluntary captivity is a serious captivity. Nobody take you there. You introduce it to your own life. I decree by the decree of heaven what you introduce into your own life willingly, voluntarily that is affecting you oh, be released from it today in the name of Jesus. There is religious captivity. Religious captivity is a system by a ministry. It's a doctrine by a ministry. It's a way in which the ministry are being guided. By so doing a lot of people, they've been led into religious captivity. I remember one documentary that I watched some years back. Before you can be a member of that church, you must eat the head of a male lizard. If you don't eat the head of a male lizard, you cannot become a member of the church. And in that church, in that church, once you eat the head of the lizard, the following week, you will be richer than yesterday. To that effect, people have been forced into religious captivity. Maybe one way or the other, before you get here, or even you may still be here, you may still be practicing two homes. I decree and declare every religious captivity that has affected you, that is still affecting your life, be released from it in the name. There's mental captivity. This one is seriously serious. Mental captivity. People with dirty minds. Anybody that you see is a winch. Any old man, any old woman is a sorcerer. Anyone you see is a winch. Any trouble you experience, oh, the person that is beside your house, the one beside your room, is the one troubling you. It's a mental captivity. Mental captivity can run one life into destruction. Everyone you see is a 
everyone around you. Even if you have little dream. Oh, this is the person that is responsible. It is the Iyale Okon. The woman living in the front of your house is the one troubling you. <laughs> Any statement from anyone <laughs> is battle in your life. <laughs> I decree and declare. <laughs> is there anyone under my voice this <laughs> morning? <laughs> the mental captivity <laughs> is troubling is our life be released from it today in the name of Jesus do you know how to live a captivity free life don't look at anyone as your enemy don't look at anyone as your enemy be focused in Christ Jesus be focused in prayers be focused in fasting be focused in reading the word of God let the word of God come as prophecy in your life read the word read the word stand by the word use the word make use of the word and let the word fight for you another captivity is financial captivity financial captivity this is a kind of captivity that every one of us are seated here today we must pray it out you may be looking at someone as a millionaire but, you, but, but is passing through financial captivity because what is attending to is more than what he had financial captivity does not exempt anyone it always eats down every prosperous soul I decree and declare maybe you are here this day you are passing through financial difficulties heaven will set you free in the name of Jesus there is emotional captivity emotional captivity emotional captivity, emotional captivity. any little thing you will be crying over it any little thing you will be hit down listen emotional captivity is not from God it is from the kingdom of darkness it is a serious thing beloved I decree by the decree of heaven every emotional captivity heaven will set you free in the name of Jesus listen carefully there is dreams captivity dreams captivity dream Every dream is full of woe. Every dream is full of woe. The percentage of good dream out of 100% the percentage of good dream is just 10%. At times you will pray you will pray you pray very very high suddenly again you can see spirit husband and spirit wife at times you will pray you will be beaten up in the dream and you will be imagined within yourself this prayer that I prayed does God accept it no, God accepted it. Yes, God accepted it. It is the kingdom of darkness that is still terrifying you. Don't submit to them. Dream captivity is a, is a terrible thing. It captivated every life on day It is you that will stand against it. It is you, it's you that will say no to it. I decree by the decree of God 
any power, any warfare, any warfare that always follow you into the, into the dream world shall be destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus, there is another captivity called witchcraft captivity. How many have I said now? Huh? Ah, it's okay. There is witchcraft captivity. We have 24 wishes. We have 24 wishes. When I said wishes, my interpreter just when you are not a wish. Amen. Amen. Blood. Hey, Witchcraft captivity is a serious thing. It is a decision from their coven. They go to the east. West, north, and south. They marry the son. They marry the son. In order to do evil underneath the sun, they marry the moon. In order to use the hour of the night to establish their evil. Witchcraft captivity is a serious captivity in which you must fight it out. You must fight it out. You must not allow them to take control of your life. You see, in the cry of the saints, for you to be established, for you to excel, you must address witchcraft captivity. The witchcraft of the mind. I want you to oh, Because of our of our time. This story at next Sunday. Sunday to I will tell you the 24 wishes. Then you will be ready to pray. Even I cancel you next Sunday. When you are coming, you come fasting. Because you will address them. And when you address them, they will fight you. But what I know is that they will not defeat you. I cannot hear your own. They will not defeat you. You will defeat them. They cannot prevail over you. You will, pray, you will prevail over them. You will win them. And you will defeat them. You will disgrace them. Over your life, you will disgrace them. Over your children, you will disgrace them. Over your work, you will disgrace them. Over your going out and coming, you will disgrace them. Witchcraft captivity. You must not be friend to them. Bible says, Suffer the wish not to live. That means, it is a total war. I decree and declare where you've been reported in the covenant of witchcraft. Jesus will appear to them. Where you've been reported, the sword of the living God shall fight your battle in the name of Jesus. I need to finish this captivity. There is conscious captivity in which you know that this is captivity. And because of what you are passing through, willingly you enter into it yourself. That I don't care what will happen. All what I need is just freedom. Little freedom. And plenty trouble. Little freedom. Plenty trouble. I decree and declare. If you ever been in the battle of little 
little freedom and plenty battle. God will deliver you today. In the name of Jesus. There's unconscious captivity. The, the captivity that you don't know. They introduce it to you. And they don't they, they did not tell you what will come thereafter is unconscious captivity. God will set you free in the name of Jesus. There's family captivity. That is, it's a collective captivity. It's a must. It must happen to every member of the family. It's family captivity. There's place of bad captivity. Place of bad captivity. Whereby the captivity is originated from your village, from your town, from your city. Everyone that comes from that state, they must experience that captivity. I know of a city around this environment. Go and do your findings. There's a captivity in that town. Ejibo. Ejibo. There is no company that lasted 10 years in success. The company must crumble. Now there is another Ejibo in uh, your state or so. There is no company that survived 10 years there. It was as a result of that city. It has a peculiar captivity. I decree and declare. Is there any place you've been operating from that does not permit progress? I decree and declare. You as a child of God you shall begin to make progress. You shall begin to make success. I want you to pray as you sit there. I am a child of God. I shall succeed in life. I am a child of God. I shall succeed in life. I am a child of God. I shall succeed in life. I shall make progress. I shall manifest progress. I shall manifest success. I am a child of God. I shall succeed in life in the name of Jesus say the prayer pray the prayer I am a child of God I shall succeed in life I shall make progress I shall be successful in the name of Jesus say it In Jesus' name we pray. There is environmental captivity. I like Igondo here. The environmental captivity of Igondo is a widespread of sacrifice. The environmental captivity of Igondo is a wide spread of sacrifice a wide spread of ritual I remember one day I was coming for morning program and God said to me son of man notice this and from where I came in I began to count sacrifice and from that junction that we drew through to general hospital turning back we counted 12 sacrifices 
I said, blood of Jesus. Whom did we offend? That place sacrifice here. It's environmental sacrifice. I decided within myself. I carry out some spiritual assignment. I came to the road here. I did not inform anybody. And I, I walk on the road from the beginning to the end. And I did what God asked me to do. I observe that sac the sacrifice cease. Listen to me carefully. You need directives. You need instruction from God Almighty for you to do meaningful things in life. Environmental captivity environmental captivity does not exempt anyone. They love to shame you together to go in the way of their decision to go in the way of their intention to go in the way of want, what they desire that must come to pass in your life. I decree and declare every environmental captivity assign against anyone assign against anyone shall be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus it's a serious thing beloved I will say this yes I will say it the, a collective captivity a collective captivity it has been a practice it has been a practice. It always happened in this church. Any little thing, somebody will faint. Hey, somebody has fainted. Somebody has fainted. Somebody has fainted. Hey, we will be running up and down. But the Lord said to me, He said, Son, close that hospital ministry. Close it. Lock the office. Lock the office. I said, Lord, is there anything wrong? Lock it. If you lock it, it will cease. I said, is that the solution? The Lord said, Son, that is the solution. Since I lock that place, I've been waiting for those that will faint. I've not seen anyone. Hear me and hear me well. I decree by the decree of heaven every collective captivity that is challenging you day and night it shall be no more. Amen. Hear me and hear me well. Those that does not want you to have rest of mind in life before the going now of the sun, they shall never have rest. Hear the word of the Lord from me. Whosoever that is troubling your destiny, troubling your glory, troubling your star, troubling your children, troubling your household, troubling what you are doing for living, that does not want you to have good harvest in life before the going down of the sun. They shall go down. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hear me and hear me well. I don't know those that I'm talking to. Those expecting your nakedness. I want to let you know. In the land of the living. Those expecting your shame. I want to let you know. In the land of the living. Number one, they shall be naked. In the name of Jesus. They shall be shame. In the name of Jesus. Those willing to disgrace you. I want to let you know. As the Lord liveth. They shall be disgraced by fire. 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 
In the name of Jesus. Hear me and hear me well. The crown of glory upon your head shall not be removed. In the name of Jesus. They will not bring down your star. In the name of Jesus. Your destiny shall not be rubbish. In the name of Jesus. Hear me and hear me well. Your destiny will get a destination. In the name of Jesus. The destiny of your children shall get a destination. In the name of Jesus. You will not labor in vain. In the name of Jesus. You will not suffer. In the name of Jesus. Happiness will not be your portion. In the name of Jesus. Sorrow will not be your portion. In the name of Jesus. Retrogression will not be your portion. In the name of Jesus. All good things you lay your hands upon shall be successful. In the name of Jesus. God will bless your left hand. God will bless your right hand. In the name of Jesus. I decree by the decree of God. Your heir. Shall not be shaven away. In the name of Jesus, you will never run dry. In the name of Jesus, your life will not become valley. In the name of Jesus, your life will not be wilderness. In the name of Jesus, I decree by the decree of heaven, your life shall be full of fruit. In the name of Jesus, your life. Shall be full of fruit. In the name of Jesus, your seed will live. 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 In the name of Jesus, you will survive all battle. You will survive all war. In the name of Jesus, whosoever that is waging war against you shall die by their war. Shall die by their war. Shall die by their war. In the name of Jesus, it is written. That the prayer of the wicked shall not be answered. Every prayer of the wicked upon your life shall be wasted. 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 In the name of Jesus, 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 you will move forward in life. In the name of Jesus, you shall become untouchable. In the name of Jesus, you will be mightier than them. In the name of Jesus, you will stand tall. In the name of Jesus, you will not fall in grace. In the name of Jesus, you will not fall in grace. In the name of Jesus, every wicked serpent, their head shall be cut off. Only one on I'm still praying. Audio. Audio. Psalm 58 verse 3 I'm still praying Psalm 58 verse 3 Psalm 58 verse 3 The wicked Are estranged from the womb Oh The wicked are estranged from the womb They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies that is anybody with the spirit of wickedness he has 
been a wicked personality right from the womb. It is not from the earth. I stand here this day as the oracle of God Almighty. It is written that the wickedness of the wicked shall not stand. I declare here this day every wickedness of the wicked established against anyone will never stand. We never stand. We never stand. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Those that are directed by the Spirit of God are the son and children of God. Hear me and hear me well. Holy Spirit will direct you. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit will direct you. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit will direct you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. So be it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Jesus to Lagba Alati Badura. Thank you, Father. What is Gestiman captivity? Kini Beku Gestimani. Next Sunday. Sunday, so more. All the captivity I mentioned to you. Please, I beg you. When you get to your address, your house, address them. Don't look at yourself as champion. Address it. And it shall be well with you. I pray upon every tight. I decree God will destroy Devora. In the name of Jesus. God will destroy Devora. In the name of Jesus. As you walk upon every labor of your hands, you shall have good results. In the name of Jesus. God will be God in your life. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, so be it. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Drop your tight. God bless you. Drop your tight. God bless you. Put on a tax and offering. Your tax and your offering, put it down. Put down your tithes and your offering together. The Lord bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you are a tithe, I am a one year papa. Jesus. Put down your tithes and your offering. If you are a tithe, I am a one year sile. The Lord bless you. Olorun abuku fun yin in the mighty name of Jesus Ni oruko nla ti Jesu Kristi Our programs remain the same Awon ipade wa si wa bakan na Sunday like this Ni ojo isin mi bayi is a worship service Oh no ni isin jo sin wa The first service 7am Ni ago meje The first service 7am Isin akoko ago meje owuro ni The second service by 9:30am Isin keji ago mesan abo owuro On Tuesday Ni ojo Tuesday. Sabbath Bible studies. Oh no, ni e ko bibeli wa. 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Ago maro siti di ago meje ashale. On Wednesdays, is our prophetic service. Ijo Wednesday, oh no, ni bade wa. Hour of mercy and deliverance. Waka ti ano ati to sile. 6:30 a.m. Wednesday. Ago me fa bo wuro. This particular Wednesday. Ijo Wednesday, tumbo yi. There will be mana water service. Ipade o mi mana yo wa. By 4:30 p.m. Ni agomeri abo irole. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Olorun abu kufuni ni oruko Jesus. Our monthly program. 
power of great deliverance that comes up every third Friday of the month the coming of this Friday 6.30 a.m. the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus there will be a deliverance program this week from Monday to Wednesday Those Those come, come, come fasting and rest recently. Quickly bring out your building offering. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this grace and privilege to give. We present our building offering to you by your power manifested in our life in the name of Jesus. Take all the glory. Jesus' name we pray. Let's put our building offering. The Lord bless you mightily. In the mighty name of Jesus. You can pay your bidding offering either by cash or check or transfer to the account written on the screen. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. There will be a brief meeting for the elders forum immediately after the second service at the teenage church and that forum is a group for those who are above the age of 60 from 60 and above so if you're interested in joining that if you're at that age you are supposed to be in that elders forum group there will be a prayer with all the elders by the mega regional overseer the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus the mountain top ministerial schools has, res has resumed back for this section and the forms are available at the admin office. The School of Biblical Studies, the School of Prayer, School of Evangelism, School of Prophets, School of Deliverance, and all other schools. You can pick the form at the admin office. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. There will be a brief meeting for the admin office for the house leaders and their assistants all the area leaders their assistants all the coordinators of the house chief committee today by 1pm at the main church this is to inform all our members especially all our hosts for the fellowship that the host fellowship will resume fully next week clap for Jesus the MFM monthly magazine is out and the one for the month of July is out you see with the usher for 600 naira in this magazine you will see the oldest in age in the usher department MFM worldwide the oldest man in age you will see the speech of our mega regional wife our mommy Aru, Emaru. You, you will see an interview where she was interviewed here you will see some prayers by father in the Lord I want to advise to get this magazine for yourself and for your friends. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Shall we rise to our feet? Our 70 days uh, fasting program
is close by and the cost of the uh, booklet is uh, the cost of the uh, the cost of the booklet is 350 you can pick any language you are pleased with it's going to come in yoruba language english language french english french epic edo epic at edo mawa uh language as well at least in the non language in nigeria it shall be while with you yes in my ministration when i got to collective captivity i mentioned the clinic that i lock up yes it was locked up what you by heavenly instruction it will be open by heavenly instruction and it is not all those that are in that group will return to that group we are going to do a lot of examination and a lot of spiritual screening due spiritual diligence will be carried out i remember the period will lock it up someone in the group accosted the administrator she said to him that had me i'm warning you go and open that place oh. I said to him, what did you tell that person? You did not tell her that it's not you that lock it up. It's me. Don't let them attack you. Let them come and attack me. Say, tell that person that I am the one that lock it. To know who is in charge. Whether it's Holy Spirit or woman be. I've been looking for that person. I've not been seeing her in the church. I want to ask her one on one question. And I'm still looking for the person. If you see her, come and call me. I don't like fighting. But everybody in the church must have peace of mind. After the grace, you are going home. I'm going home. Let the grace of God abide with us. That is the way. That is Christian living. And it shall be well with us forever. In the name of Jesus. We are going to our different home. As we go. In full. The kingdom of darkness. Will not empty us. As we go. To our different locations. We shall have rest of mind forever we shall have peace of mind forever our household shall be in peace in the name of the father in the name of the son and of the holy ghost so be it in jesus mighty name we pray now let us lift up our oil 
Father, in the name of Jesus, let every oil be sanctified. In the name of Jesus, carry the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, carry out spiritual assignment. In the name of Jesus, spiritual assignment that will profit us. That you favor us, that you bless us. Let the oil terrify the kingdom of darkness. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Next Sunday, Sunday too, we have prayers to pray on the witchcraft captivity. I said something when you are coming. Come fasting. After the service, break your fast. Two, what is Gestiman captivity? It shall be well with you. On Wednesday, we saw the power, we saw the spirit, the spirit of border payment. Now this coming Wednesday, we are going to the power of border payment. Thereafter, to what is border payment and border payment itself. Three Jericho destroying. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. We have all the ministers of the gospel here. It is not compulsory that only me must do counseling. We have ministers of the gospel. You can go to them for counseling. It shall be well with you. They are available. God bless you all.